we now need to create the instruction manual for this new territory that we are moving into. And how do we do this? By following the impulse that comes through our heart, not our emotions, our heart as in the gateway to our higher self-awareness, yeah, our higher consciousness. To our weekly energy update for week 13, that is the 26th of March till the 1st of April. My name is Jonah Brindis. I'm an energy therapist, energy coach, and visionary, and many of you energetically sensitive and empaths are feeling you know, these new energies that are coming in right now, you are probably confused a lot of what this means for you personally. We've had some really, really good talks this week here, energy talk and true self talk. And yes, go to my YouTube channel. Lots and lots of sharing and describing of these new energies that are going through all of us. And today I want to illuminate those a little bit. Many of you know that uh, we have the energetic tune-up session today where we actually look into the next four to six weeks. And I must tell you that these next four to six weeks are very significant in a greater sense than we think they are. So before I go into reporting and Going into more detail, I want to hold your attention here for a moment. And I want you to understand that all of what is unfolding right now, all of what is percolating upward, forward in you, has huge impact. This is a once in a lifetime kind of energy that we are experiencing right now, which means whatever comes out of this, and not to put you into performance pressure, all right? this is all internal. This is an internal transformation that we're all going through that will have obviously out external, outdoor manifestations. But what you're experiencing here is extremely unique in, I want to say, the history of mankind. So there, there's got to be something in you that wanted to experience this. And this may sound a little woo-woo to some of you, but it is, after all, yeah, the energy, the trust, the wisdom that can help us to push through these barriers. And the way we do this is, well, first of all, we have to show up. Yeah, so you cannot check out now. What do I mean with check out? Oh, you know, just sort of go into your weekend feeling, you know, not wanting to know anything that is going on outside of you, isolating yourself, and maybe judging it all as a, you know, sort of collective craziness. It is collectively crazy, but, or at least it appears that way, yeah, but it still has a huge impact. So it's very important that we stay aware. Now, many of you are sensitive and empathic for that matter and have difficulties with that because when you tune in to what is going on outside of you, you feel overwhelmed. And that is the challenge here in this next week, but also the opportunity. It is on us to stay absolutely present and intentive. So intentiveness, guys, is is an, an, a concept that has nothing to do with willpower or perseverance. It has to do with understanding why you are going through something, even though you have no proof or no, let's say, you know, instruction manual for it. You just know. And this is significant here for the development of these next months of, you know, the rest of the year, because 
there will be things like take this last week guys who have you felt this too there's like really really deep sort of wanting to just throw the towel yeah just like questioning everything you know what's the point you know what can i do you know to contribute or change anything right yeah what's the point yeah. and kind of ghosting ourselves <laughs> i actually felt ghosted by you know my audience here this week uh i don't think i have been as active as i mean i'm always active i'm always producing you know these podcasts and sessions and all that but there was literally something every day and i know this is sometimes hard to catch up with it's not about that it's about wanting to really be aware of what is going on inside of us and there's a there needs to be an intention of wanting to show up all right and sometimes it feels like everybody is just hiding under the rock yeah because what is coming in and this is what we due to the our energetic sensitivity pick up on is so big all right that we for a moment don't really know how to handle this it's overwhelming so last week was rough on many of you and just know that you are not alone guys all right this this deep uh, the, the almost destructive energy that comes in when we feel that there's nothing really we can do yeah where we get pulled into our insecurities into like feeling insignificant you got to understand that that is the error perception that we're all up against. We are extremely significant. We have an extremely important role to play here as individuals. Now you might think, how, what can I do? You know, uh, what, you know, there's these all these bigger things in World War Three and pandemic and whatnot going on. What do I have to do with this? You have a lot to do with this because without you, it can't take place and you as the one that uh, sort of perceives all of this transceives all of this yeah, and comes to a conclusion and if your conclusion is that you are powerless and that you are just a little cog in a machine you are allowing yourself to be reduced to a cog in a machine you are actually becoming complicit with it. You're enabling it. And this, guys, is the bigger lesson here. It's a very, very challenging time in that way. Never before have we been able to actually see this so clearly. So this confrontation with untruth, you, you, you can have to embrace that. <laughs> yeah, it's really helping us to get into the deeper and more conscious awareness of what is actually going on here in this world with us as these conscious soul selves that are making up this world right so collective is not something outside of us we are part of the collective and therefore it is on us yeah, to inform the rest of this collective. Yeah, what the nature of of us and what we can bring into this world and how we can grow together, what that is. So intentiveness is the task. Yeah, many of you are asking for purpose now because it feels too difficult to see how you can make a difference. And remember, if you see yourself as a cock in a machine, if you reduce yourself to uh, just uh, sort of being like a like a material, yeah, a bag of flesh or, or you know, something that is uh, a, a, a non-living almost, okay, then understand that this is what you are contributing. You are contributing to this belief that humans are merely what 
like an ant colony on this planet. This is what needs to be changed. This has to do with spiritual intelligence, and that's why this time is so significant, guys. Spiritual intelligence is something that you, my audience here, yeah, you awakening soul selves, are already feeling. It isn't me telling you that you are so spiritual. No, this is something that you feel inside of you. It is a yearning, a longing you know, that is coming up in you for more, for deeper connection with nature, deeper connection with other people, deeper connection with purpose. And this is what this week here that is coming is bringing in for us by, and this is the hard part, showing us what needs to be let go of, what we need to let go in order to grow. Yeah, so it is on us, yeah, that we stay on point, that we push through these, these hunkering down feelings, yeah, we just want to check out, we have to push through this, and in fact, do the opposite, move forward, even though we don't have an instruction manual for these new energies that are coming in. And this is then where the growth takes place. We have to trust that our higher self, our true self, as we call this here, is pushing us into the right direction. And the hardest part, and we could see this last week very, very clearly in our personal transformation process, is to to look back and, and to be okay with a little bit of a reality check here, yeah, and go into this hindsight understanding, you know, and, and realizing where we've been gaslit or where we've, you know, had a mindset, yeah, that did not really allow us to grow or where we've let ourselves down, where we betrayed our own values what truly mattered for us, or, and this is my offering to you, or we recognize that we can only do our best at a given time, and things that may have been important to us in the past, they just simply aren't important now anymore, because I have grown, I have gone through things yeah, that showed me that, yes, it was important at the time, and that's okay. So it's a form of forgiveness. So for some of us, this forgiveness comes with, oh, well, you know, um, maybe this is a mistake. How I see this today, how I see this today, it appears as a mistake. But at the time, it was something that was needed to go through. Yeah, and... For some of you, what needs to be let go of is that. Is that, well, it's a form of specialness, you know, uh, to hang on to the traumas of your past, to hang on to, like, oh, because my life was so hard, it was extra hard, it was a lot harder than everybody else's life, you know, so I can't do this, I can't go forward, I can't, you know, leave my toxic relationship or I can't, you know, start a new career or I can't, you know, do the things that I truly want to do. This is becoming aware to us now and this isn't an easy going, it's not easy going to see that. So reality check, guys, is an uncomfortable feeling. But everybody knows that reality check is what is needed, yeah, to to sort things and to develop this instruction manual, all right? So we now need to create the instruction manual for this new territory that we are moving into. And how do we do this? By following the impulse that comes through our heart, not our emotions, our heart as in the gateway to our higher self-awareness. Yeah, our higher consciousness. 
And it means that we have to reconcile with certain things, especially boundaries. So the reason why I called this energy update new territory is because we're moving into April with a very, very strong sense of new space. It has a lot to do with space, territory, boundaries, and borders. Yeah. So what might appear as a, as a problem with boundaries in our personal life manifests as as war, for example, or as a political problem here on the collective level. Yes, yeah? so understand the mirroring effect of this. So there is a an energy of growth and a new beginning coming in, and this requires us now to define these new boundaries, to define the space. And the reason why I said in the beginning that you need to pay a lot of attention right now is because the awareness level with which you can do this in this following week here, so the 1st of April, when we have the first of two new moons in April, is what is of greater significance later. It will come back and expand manifold in May. In other words, from an energetic perspective right now is where a very important alignment process occurs in you. It's basically sort of this conscious choice now yeah, that I've been talking about for, for weeks and months. Where you have to choose between following your higher self prompting or let's put it in a neutral way, just trying to survive your life. Yeah, this is a call to all true selves right now. And this week is still a little murky, yeah, because we have to deal with all these emotions that are coming up when we feel overwhelmed and when things get triggered in us. Yeah, so, you know, the, the, these things around the world, world politics right now and, and still the remainders of the restrictions of the pandemic and so forth, they're still kind of going through a nervous system. Yeah, And there's a lot of bureaucracy still in the game that is trying to kind of hold us back to stop the flow. Yeah, this is where we need to pace ourselves. Those of you in Australia or New Zealand and so forth, yeah, we're, we're you know, these restrictions haven't been lifted yet you know just stay on it guys this is already passed you just have to go through the last weeks the motions of it is bureaucracy really yeah. and understand that this this flow this new flow is is coming in like a wave now okay so yes it will be a little intense but you have to discipline yourself to not go into this catastrophic thinking because that's what makes you numb. That's what makes you apathic. That is what makes you want to check out and freeze. And that is what wastes your energy. You, because you are here after all. Okay? Checking out is not going to make it easier for you. You'll not be able to recognize what these directions in, in your instruction manuals are. If you just say, oh, I don't need a manual, you know, I can just like do it all by myself. You ever tried to build Ikea furniture without instruction manual? But there's something about that. Yeah. And that is that if you actually do it, it will always work. And this instruction manual right now is in you. The directions are in you, but not in your mind. And that's the hard part for you guys. So if you're trying to find solutions in your mind, you won't be able to find them. And that is what triggers this, this catastrophic, this worst case scenario, this black and white thinking. And you have to understand that that is the gateway to your inner darkness, yeah, to your fears, to your um, greed to your specialness, to your pain, yeah, and 
guilt and shame. And that is the part here that you need to push through. So even if you feel like you have to let go of something, this doesn't mean that you are a bigger victim now. It means that you are being provided with instructions as to what has been holding back to you. As to what has held you back in the past. So those of you who have discovered things about your past here in these last weeks that have been impeding you, but the way you saw it was different from how you see it now. Yeah. In other words, those of you who are recognizing now that, you know, past is past and there's nothing you can do about this now, but you can change the future. Yeah. And the future changes rapidly, if you will, which means you have to stay on it. Okay. You can't skip a step. So it's not this sort of new agey, la la, yeah, the, the holding hands and singing kumbaya, everything is going to be fine. No, that's too far out there. It's not the, oh, we have to stick with the bureaucracy and we have to stick with the rules to the T, the rigidity. It's not that either. It's the middle ground, guys. And what you as individual have to learn is that you need to protect your space. And if you want to grow and if you want your impact to grow, if you want to feel a greater sense of purpose, a greater sense of like being part of a mission here, yeah, you need to understand how important your own energy management is. You can't afford these ghosting, checking out, yeah, hiding under a rock weeks right now. Yeah, it's okay to feel that way and to get overwhelmed for like, say, 24, 48 hours. But latest then you need to be able to uncover that catastrophic thinking and what ifs and, you know, the anxiousness that is coming in through your mind and your emotions is not going to help you. Yeah? It's going to make you waste your energy and most likely also make it harder for you to maintain your boundaries. So start with yourself now. Whatever you thought was good or bad yeah, is irrelevant. Yeah, Allow yourself to, to draw this new boundary, this new line where you say, okay, I'm entering new territory. Yeah, so whatever mindset, whatever beliefs that I that I that ran me here in the past. Let's just for neutrality sakes. Yeah, keep them back and be fully present with what is. So it's a it's a soft reality check, but one that can be quite strict in its nature. It's kind of like the strict mom energy that I sometimes mention. Yeah, this sort of wise woman. Um, a type of perspective where you look at things and you know it's going into the wrong direction, but you also know that eventually, yeah, the say the kids or whatever involved will get it. And all you have to do is pay attention, make corrections here and there. So this will be significant for April later, the correction making. Right now, it's more like um, last clearing, yeah. And only allow things that truly matter. Yeah, don't allow anything that is really not important for you anymore. Yeah, only allow, you know, what brings more love, more freedom, more purpose, more truth in your life, and what provides security for you. What makes you feel safe, but for real, not sort of this illusionary security, yeah, when the, you're hiding under a rock. Yeah, nothing else. Don't allow anything else in, yeah, unless it helps you to tune into more love, more truth, more freedom with yourself internally and also 
externally, but you have to pay attention. So you see through my stammering here that it's quite complicated, the energy of this next week. And when I do the forecast for April, uh, it, it may become a little clearer uh, because these these waves that are coming in right now uh, are bringing so much transformation so quickly that uh, we have to use this week here now to calibrate ourselves. Yeah, this is very, very important. It's like you're sitting there, you wait what's coming, and you know what's coming. You don't know exactly when and how, but you know that you are here and now for a reason. Yeah, and the best thing you can do right now is pay attention. Yeah. yeah, so pushing through is the energy that you need, forgiving yourself for the past. Just let that go. It's all irrelevant now. And intentiveness. Yeah, make every thought count, guys. Manifestation. Yeah has very clear mechanics. Yeah, we do well on what we dwell on. So if you go into catastrophic thinking, all right, then I don't need to tell you what it is that you will do well on. Yeah, so push through that. Yeah, stay on it with yourself and allow yourself to increase the space that you need or for some of you, it's more the protecting that, the protecting the sacredness of your own energy, your own space. That will help you to move forward into these next six weeks, I want to say, until the 9th, 10th of May. Yeah, so that's what we are looking at coming in here in this next week. So thank you, everybody, for coming, for listening to my ramble here. It was hard for me to find the right words. Yeah, this will happen to you too in this next week. So don't take this personally. When things have this level of complexity and you try to really sort it yeah, and bring it into like something like an instruction manual, you will sometimes feel that, oh, I don't have the right language for that. And that's okay. Thank you. See you again very, very soon. And wishing you a good weekend. Stay awake and aware, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.